Today is the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let us begin our rosary in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all the holy souls in purgatory, all the people in our family that are dying, people that are sick, and for our children going back to school, and for your special intentions. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. To increase our faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. To increase our hope, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. To increase our charity and our love, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and what shall be, O God, Amen. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead our souls into heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners.
it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead our souls into heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of Jesus in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, my love. Grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead our souls into heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners.
God, pray for our sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. mystery, the Assumption of Mary into heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, or without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead our souls into heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of Mary as the Queen of Heaven and Earth. Our Father, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Mary, Mother of God pray for our sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour us from the fires of hell, lead our souls into heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life was to be in our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping this valley of tears. Turn that most gracious love of thee, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after these our exile. Show unto us the blessed fruit of your daddy, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, for the of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we be seated, please, and meditating upon these mysteries, the most holy rosary of the blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The memorary, remember our most gracious Virgin Mary, that everyone is to know that anyone who lies in your protection, implore thy help, O sought by the intercession, was left in a day, inspired with this confidence, I cry unto you. Sacred Heart of Jesus, most Sacred Heart of Jesus, most Sacred Heart of Jesus, Mary, the Queen of the Holy Rosary, Saint Joseph, Saint Faustina, Saint Anna, may the may the assistant may the divine assistant always remain with us. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good morning. We welcome you to St. Anne's Catholic Church and especially to any visitors or newcomers to our parish. We welcome you to our community. <clears throat> Today is the 25th Sunday of Ordinary Time. The announcements for this week are Extraordinary Ministers of Holy Communion. Distributing communion is an opportunity to serve the body of Christ. We are offering a training day on Sunday, September 26th, after the 9.45 a.m. Mass. If you are interested in being an extraordinary minister, please join us at this training. Everyone is invited to attend catechetical cert certification program. There will be a total of seven classes. To register, please call Monty. Please see bulletin for more information. There will be a Samoan language mass next Sunday, September 26th at 12 noon. Everyone is invited. Please take a bulletin for more information. The mass today is being celebrated by Father Tuan. In today's reading, we learn the following lesson. Jesus speaks of his own rejection, torture, and shameful death. True discipleship, he says, is concerned not with status, but with service to the poor, with justice and peace. Please join me in praying the St. Michael prayer. This prayer is being said for the right to life as taught by our Catholic faith. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all other spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Now pre please pray with us the transition prayer. We also pray for Pope Francis's prayer uh, to end the, the pandemic and for those who have died from the pandemic. Just a reminder to turn off all your cell phones during Mass. Now please rise and take a moment to greet your fellow parishioners.
name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Um, Amen. The peace of our world water be with you. Um, and with your spirit. I welcome you all here on the 25th Sunday of Ordinary Tama. And also I ask you to join me today. Pray for all the students and the teacher and volunteer for faith formation. Since then, we start our religious education last Wednesday night. And right now, the registration for the Vietnamese language going on. I just left there for the opening and talk with the parents and run over here for mass. And then also at St. John of the Wood, we have the registration and beginning for the CCD over there, as well as visitation. And so we beginning for this wonderful program even during the challenging time. And also I ask you continue to pray for the merging Paris, even we are poor in financially and during the challenging and difficult, but all the volunteer and you willing to share your time and talent in serving one another. And please welcome one another here with a big applause before we celebrate this Eucharist. Welcome you all here. So we can join around this altar to celebrate and thank God for all the blessings. Before we celebrate this Eucharist, we ask God for forgiveness and mercy as we say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. God in the highest and on earth is to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, O God, heavenly King, O God. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, 
your son who live and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked say, let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. Let us see whether his words are true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, God will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put the just one to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord upholds my life. The Lord upholds my life. O God, by your name, save me, and by your might, defend my cause. O God, hear my prayer. Hearken to the words of my mouth. The Lord upholds my life. For the haughty men have written, risen up against me. The ruthless seek my life. They set not God before their eyes. The Lord upholds my life. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord sustains my life. Freely will I offer you sacrifice. I will praise your name, O Lord, for its goodness. The Lord upholds my life. A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder in every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure, then peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy or insincerity. For the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. Where do wars and where do the conflicts among you come from? Is it not from your passions that make war within your members? You covet, but do not possess. You kill and envy, but you cannot obtain. You fight and wage war. You do not possess because you do not ask. You ask, but you do not receive, because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you. 
Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee. But he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, The sons of man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him. And three days after his death, the sons of men will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent. They have been discussing among themselves on the way. Who was the greatest? Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst, and putting his arms around it, he said to them, Whoever receives one child such as this, in my name, receive me, and whoever receive me, receive not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you here on the 25th Sunday of Ordinary Time. And yes, we pray the prayer for fancies and curing us and trust us to the Lady for all of those who die for the virus and also protecting us from all who are among the living. And also we pray the prayer for transition for the merging parish. And yet, you know our situation, meeting upon meeting with state hall, with the subcommittee, and with different leadership and group and team. And yes, we are, have a lot of opinion, idea what we need to do. But just the most important thing, we hear from the Word of God today. The first reading talking about how each one of us have to be the service and being the one who get called. And yes, we have to know one thing. The thing is very important, the wicked. The wicked is so devil in all the things we do. And what the wicked is about in the first reading, they always want to look into the good people doing things and they put decide upon it. They condemn them and they doing all things is not God's way, but what they wanted. And the wicked always looking for the good people doing and then they make people upset. And yet, like I know many of you, good intention want to do some good. When you do it in public, someone don't want to do it and then hate it and then criticize on you and say the bad thing and evil about it. And that's what happened a lot in our community. And that's what is all about food reading. The wicked is so evil in all things. And when we try to do good things, we have to be very clever in this, how we have to do it. And yet, deeply, Inside, we have to pray a lot. When we pray and we do it with good intention and with, you know, measuring out, and yet we can get away from out that temptation. Second reading that is so powerful for the end of that. Many times we ask, we could not get it. And then God promised us, 
always, when you need it, you ask. Knock will be open for you. Ask, you will receive, and all. And then that's what it's all about, second reading. And say that, I asked, but I never got it. And yet you ask for the wrong thing. And yet it's selfishness for you. But God's way of thinking and looking into it in different way. And that's, wow, the second reading we have to carry on for that. And see how many times I know here that the application for our merging period. We want a vitality. We want more ministry. We want to be inclusive. We want all that, the concept, the idea. But how are we going to turn that into action? Wow, the gospel we hear today. That's how the disciples, they discuss themselves, arguing about what? Wow, Jesus go right into it huh? today. That they arguing who will be the most important. What is I wanted? And it's not what the whole community wanted and then sang for everyone. So they're arguing, who's the more important? And the lesson for many of us, that human being, we always tempted, 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 and temptation for the glory, for selfishness, and all that. I have to be admitted, every one of us have that. And yet, but also if we realize that if that evil gets into our heart, uh, and then we need to aware what Jesus taught about. We want to be the greatest, yes, Jesus said, and then you want to be the servant of all. Serve people, serve people. And yet, what all going on here that the volunteer I observing. Volunteer, many of us, we have good intention to doing this and that. Sometimes we have to know we serve God. We serve God. It's not serve earth for the glory of earth. And that's why this is merging parish is about. I just asking the parent gathering for their children register into the CCD a few minutes ago before mass. I say, I need to ask you, we have no staff here. We don't have financial for this program. You want, we, the parish, support you for this program, demand a lot on you. You have to help the volunteer. You have to bring your children in. We have to do all this, following all this. And yes, we together, we can do it. And yes, I find all the volunteer who are cleaning the round here, we don't have money to pay for all these different things. And yet, all of us and looking into the example we have. Many of you, how many of you know a little bit about the saints, Martha Teresa? Could you raise up your hand? How many of you know Martha Teresa, Calcutta? How many of you know and read about her? You know. And this is what I talk about. Thank you so much. For her, she received the Nobel for peace and all that in 70, you know, that 1978 or 9. And you know that for her Nobel, and you also know for her funeral, she was not born in Indian. You know where her country she was born. And what the Indian people praise her and want her to be the mother of the nation. They have the national funeral for her in honoring her of what of what the little things she do she do for the poor the needy and yet many people come to her and ask for advice mother you doing the right thing when i met her in rome i was there for the study i thought this beautiful and big lady and all the things and i try to go into her religious community and all like that so looking and then see, I want to see Martha Teresa. Oh, she's so popular. And so what I found out, I say, I feel disappointed, you know. She's about this tall. I'm taller than her, you know, about this tall. So look at her skin, you know, her hair. 
all their skin, the hair is, you know, thin and everything and like that. And so I look, but the beautiful is for her eyes. If you look at her eyes, just like the beam of the flat light, you know, to you, beautiful. But people come to her, ask her, and she say that, yes, you have too much you can give, and you have so much talent you can give. And then uh, people ask, so what should I do to make the community better? What should I do? She say, you know how to smile, do you? And the lady says, yes. And then she smiling at her, she say, you have the beautiful smile. That's what you can do. Smile to your husband, your children, the people who you meet smiling. You bring joy to their life. All you can do. Wow, lady, that's simple, that easy. Say, yes, you go. Even, you know, go meet everyone smiling. You bring the, the joy to their life. Wow, I stood there and said, wow, that's so simple. Every one of us here, we can do that. We can smiling and then say, bring the joy to everyone. That's simple. And we can compliment people, you know. Many people volunteer, they're doing this, doing that for the good, for the community. Give them the word of compliment rather than criticize them. And yes, so many easy ways. And that's how the merging parish we need. We need, and Sister Teresa last Wednesday mentioned to me, Father, for the religious education, CCD, we cannot receive any more students in the class. I say, what? We don't have volunteer. I need teacher. And I go, oh, you need to let people know. You have to let them know. So that's why I'm letting you know. If you are a good teacher, you want to volunteer in CCD on Wednesday, please call Sister Teresa. We have student register, and during the coronavirus, we have the minimum, the student, and for in-person. Many of the parents, they are rich. They can do the Zoom teaching. We are here. We have to be in-person for many students that and so, so many things we can do to build up this parish. Thank you for your help, and thank you for responding to the gospel and the word of God today. If we want to be the greatest in God's eye, be the one who serve all. Be the one who serve all. If we want to be the greatest, be like the little child. Be like the little child. And yes, that's all we need. So at this time, I ask you, please stand together. We profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Born of the Father of the all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered there and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the of some sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As a community of peace and compassion, let us offer our prayer to our merciful and loving God as we say. For the leaders of Christ Church, who humbly serve with wisdom and compassion, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For nations torn apart by war and civil unrest who seek peaceful alternative to violence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For judges, advocates, and civil servants who uphold the rights of the poor, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young people who hunger and thirst for justice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of this assembly who find joy in God's commandments and peace in God's presence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Norman Vista, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer now our personal intentions. For these and all the prayers entered in our book of prayer, those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Receive, Father, hear our prayer, and live on earth with the spirit of Christ, the servant, that we may serve and honor you by serving and honoring one another. Inspire us with the wonder of a child um, that we may seek with gratitude the simple and humble ways of your justice and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Um, Amen. Amen.
Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of us, Holy Church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offering of your people that what they profess with devotions and faith may be there through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you make all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, bonds of the virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice, we acclaim the fullness of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending thou your spirits upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poor for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking of the body and fluids of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age, we may merit to be called heir to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your forever and ever. At the Savo command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say them, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, racist leader and peace in our day that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostle, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously rent her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer his author the sign of peace and love.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy. My Jesus,
Resistly, raise up, O Lord, those you renew with the sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mysteries and in the manners of our life, through Christ our Lord. As you read on the bulletin and you heard on the announcement that we are very blessed to have the uh, catechetical certificate program and so the cohort program that uh, will be here at St. Anna. And you know we need the volunteer. Many of you have talent in education, in, in teaching. You can sign up for the program we have. And after that, you can help us with the faith formation, teaching the student confirmation, baptism, preparation, marriage preparation, and all that we all run by volunteer. And Sister Teresa, the coordinator of the faith formation here for both parishes at St. Anne and St. John of the Wood, and all what we are doing by volunteer, and that's why we have the program we have in our parish. And so I thank you for being a good stewardship of the, the treasure, your money, financial support, your time, and your talent. During this merging parish, many parishioners from visitation or Holy Rosary or another parish think that St. Anne, we are so rich because they see so many different programs, so many different activities, they think that we are very rich. And so when I invite all the parish leadership in to figure out the percentage we share, so they all think that St. Anne have everything, we we'll sponsor them and help them. They find out that everything by volunteer, they're very disappointed, you know. But that's the only way we run the parish here. And so I ask that, please help, because we need your support, we need your help. The only way that we can take care of ourselves, the, I'm sorry to say the diocese, they gave us a lot of direction, many things, but they never gave us a penny to do anything. So everything is us, you know. And so I just want to say this to you, so you help. If we want St. Anne and the, the new Paris be flourished and vitality and, and alive, and you have to support and support one another to do it. So the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.